Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Drumil Manik. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the Downs analysis. Now the Downs analysis contains two parts that is the skeletal parameter and the dental parameter. Each of these parameters contains five variables each. So first we will discuss about the five skeletal parameters which are in the Downs analysis and next we will discuss about the five dental parameters now starting with the first skeletal parameter that is the facial angle now what is facial angle it is an angle formed between the line formed by nasion to pogonion first line will be your from nasion to pogonion that is your npog line second line is your frankfurt horizontal plane this is your frankfurt horizontal plane from porion to orbital so the angle formed between these two lines is called as facial Angle. Now this angle gives an idea about the anteroposterior positioning of the mandible. If this angle is increased, that means if this if mandible is in forward position, that means the angle is going to increase. That means it is skeletal class three. And if this angle is decreased, that means mandible is behind. That is skeletal class two. So this is about facial angle. I have also written the average values. You need not remember re remember each and every average value, but it has to be understood. Second is your angle of convexity. Now what is angle of convexity? Now angle of convexity is a line drawn from nasion to point A. First line is drawn from nasion to point A. Second line is drawn from point A to point B. Now this both the lines will form a little amount of convexity in the facial plane. This angle is measured and this angle is called as angle of convexity. Now this, if this angle is increased, that means it suggests that maxillary denture base is more prominent comparatively to the mandible and if this angle is decreased, see this is your increased angle, that means maxilla is more prominent, but if this angle is decreased, that means mandible is more prominent than maxilla. Third is your mandibular plane angle, now what is mandibular plane angle, that is the angle between the plane of the mandible, that is a line joining the lower border of mandible and frankfurt horizontal plane in dono lines ke beech ka jo angle rahega that will be your mandibular plane angle so this is known as mandibular plane angle ab isse kya decide hoga ki agar ye mandibular plane angle increased hai that means the patient is a vertical grower it is he is having a hyperdivergent facial pattern aur agar ye angle decrease hai that means he is a horizontal grower or hypodivergent facial pattern so these are the three now next moving on to the fourth parameter that is your ab plane angle now what does this ab plane angle means first line is drawn from the nasion to pogonion ek line draw karoge kahan se nasion to pogonion that is your npog line second line will be drawn from point a to point b so ye dono lines jahan pe cross karegi wahan ek angle banega that angle is known as ab plane angle that is angle of point a to point b in relation to the facial plane ab now this value is always going to be negative kyunki mandible is situated a bit behind in context to maxilla but if in skeletal class 3 this mandible is going to be front that means this angle is going to become positive so in regular cases it is going to be negative but in the cases of skeletal class 3 it is going to become पॉजिटिव एवरेज वैल्यू कितनी है माइनस फोर पॉइंट सिक्स बिकॉज द वैल्यू इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी नेगेटिव इट रेंजेस फ्रॉम माइनस नाइन टू जीरो नाउ लास्ट पैरामीटर विच वर लेफ्ट इज योर वाई एक्सिस नाउ वॉट डज दिस वाई एक्सिस मीन वाई एक्सिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ग्रोथ एक्सिस नाउ दिस इज फॉर्म बाई द फर्स्ट लाइन दैट इज योर फ्रेंकफर्ट हॉरिजोंटल फ्रेन फ्रॉम पोरियन टू ऑर्बिटेल एंड सेकेंड लाइन इज फ्रॉम शेला टू ग्नेथियन फर्स्ट लाइन कहा से पोरियन टू ऑर्बिटल जो आपका एफ एच प्लेन है सेकेंड लाइन आपका शेला से ग्नेथियन तक अब इनके बीच का जो एंगल बनेगा दैट विल बी और वाई एक्सिस और ग्रोथ एक्सिस नो वाई एक्सिस इंडिकेट्स द ग्रोथ पैटर्न ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल ये क्या इंडिकेट करेगा एक इंडिविजुअल का ग्रोथ पैटर्न अब जैसे कि ये एंगल ज्यादा है दैट मीन्स द पेशेंट इज वर्टिकल ग्रोअर एंड इफ द एंगल इज डिक्रीज दैट मीन्स द पेशेंट इज हॉरिजोंटल ग्रो और अगर ये शेला ग्नेथियन लाइन ऐसे हो जाएगी तो ये एंगल इंक्रीज हो जाएगा ये जो एंगल है तो ये क्या होगा वर्टिकल ग्रो और अगर ये एंगल डिक्रीज होगा दैट मीन्स द पेशेंट इज हॉरिजोंटल ग्रोअर सो दीज आर योर फाइव पैरामीटर्स दैट इज ऑफ स्केलेटल 
context now second we are discussing about the five dental parameters now what are the five dental parameters first is your incisor occlusal plane angle incisor mandibular plane angle cant of occlusion then inter incisal angle and lastly upper incisor to apoc line so first we will start with the incisor occlusal plane angle now what is incisor occlusal plane angle that is first line is drawn from long axis of lower incisor and second line is drawn along the plane of occlusion ab inke beech ka jo angle banega that will be your incisor occlusal plane angle ab iska angle normally kitna rahega 14.5 degree range rahegi 3.5 se 20 degree now if this angle is increased if this angle is increased that means the incisors are retroclined and if this angle is decreased that means the incisors are proclined it is going to be opposite if the angle is going to decrease the incisors are going to be proclined if the angle is going to get increased the incisors are retroclined now second thing which you are going to study is your incisor mandibular plane angle first was your incisor occlusal plane angle so now this will be in relation to plane of मैंडिबल जैसे ये आपका लोअर इंसाइजर है और ये मैंडिबुलर प्लेन है तो लॉन्ग एक्सेस ऑफ लोअर इंसाइजर एंड मैंडिबुलर प्लेन के बीच का जो एंगल रहेगा दैट विल बी और इंसाइजर मैंडिबुलर प्लेन एंगल अब ये एंगल अगर इंक्रीज होगा दैट मीन्स इसमें डायरेक्ट रहेगा इट विल नॉट बी ऑपोजिट इफ दिस एंगल इज इंक्रीज देन द इंसाइजर आर प्रोक्लाइंट इफ दिस एंगल इज डिक्रीज द इंसाइजर आर रेट्रोक्लाइंट नाउ थर्ड इज योर कैंट ऑफ ऑक्लूजन ऑफ कैंट ऑफ ऑक्लूजन क्या कहता है एक लाइन ड्रॉ करोगे आप ऑक्लूजन प्लेन के साथ और दूसरी लाइन कहा ड्रॉ करोगे आप फ्रैंकफर्ट ऑरिजोंटल प्लेन के साथ अब इन दोनों के बीच का जो एंगल रहेगा दैट विल बी और कैंट ऑफ ऑक्लूजन अब ये क्या देगा दिस विल गिव द एंगल और ए मेजर ऑफ द स्लोप ऑफ ऑक्लूजन प्लेन रिलेटेड टू द एफ एच प्लेन एफ एच प्लेन के रिलेशन में ऑक्लूजन प्लेन का स्लोप कितना रहेगा ये अपने को कौन बताएगा कैंट ऑफ occlusal plane average it is going to be 9.3 it ranges from 1.5 degree to 14 degree now last is your last second i say it is your inter incisal angle now what is inter incisal angle that is first line from the long axis of upper incisor second line from the long axis of lower incisor iske beech ka jo angle rahega that will be your inter incisal angle now this inter incisal angle is going to get decreased in the cases of proclined anteriors that is in the cases of bimaxillary class 1 protrusion or class 2 division 1 cases the incisors are going to get proclined so this angle is going to decrease but if this angle increases in case of which that is class 2 division 2 usme jo central incisor rahenge wo retroclined rahenge to ye angle इंक्रीज होगा एवरेज कितना रहता है 135.4 डिग्री रेंज रहेगी 132 150 डिग्रीज नाउ लास्ट वी आर लेफ्ट विथ हिस योर अपर इंसाइजर टू एपोक लाइन नाउ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अपर इंसाइजर टू एपोक लाइन फर्स्ट यू ड्रॉ एपोक लाइन दैट इज फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पोगोनियन एंड सेकंड यू ड्रॉ यू मार्क ए पॉइंट ऑन द इंसाइजर लेज ऑफ अपर इंसाइजर नाउ द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द एपोक लाइन टिल द इंसाइजर एज इज द linear distance between the apoc line and the incisal edge i should say so it will give you the presentation or the measurement of proclination how much are the incisors proclined the average is going to be 2.7 mm matlab apoc line se upper incisor ki edge kiti 2.7 mm aage rahegi and range is going to be minus 1 to 5 mm now it is it is quite simple that if the incisors are proclined it is going to get increase the distance will increase as the proclination of the teeth increases so these were the 10 parameters that is the five skeletal and five dental parameters of down's analysis i hope you guys have understood if you enjoyed the video then please like share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get regular updates of our interesting lectures thank you